Only time will tell. But I will always be there for my kids. I will never not support them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the thought is she's telling that I'm not supporting or maintenance. Mm -mm. Not sure. Yeah, just keep all your receipts for that. Oh, no, believe me, I do. I've got an all thing to that. All thing to that. I mean, <laughs> I actually got a, a file, especially for all those type of things. But, yeah, I need to go print out the most recent stuff now. <laughs> all the latest developments. It's not, it's not that I want to use it against the me. No, 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 no. I mean, those cameras that I have in my place, those things take for themselves. What happened the last time when they were here? Oh, I have so much evidence on those things. Man. You will not believe. I mean, it's actually scary, but I'm not going to belittle or talk bad about this thing. She knows and I know what is on. And that will... I kind of want to say I'm doing a whole thing if I can say that. But that's not why I'm here. Better than that, I don't need to show it to the world. I don't need to prove anything to anyone besides right. my kids and my mother and the new relationship. And what you need to protect yourself and protect your relationship with your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I will do what I must to basically still try and be in contact with them. And when you're being lied yeah. about, but you have the video evidence that helps you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You told yeah, me about, have, that, about the videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't go around and post it because what do I gain from it? What right. Do I from right. It? it just, it's not a good thing to do to the kids. Or even, you okay, know, yeah, to yourself. It's not good to do it to the mother. I mean, right. The mother humiliates me, but I can tell I'm, I'm better. Yes, I've retaliated numerous times to things she's saying. <laughs> but the fact that on my life, somebody mentioned that she, she spoke about my private thoughts and... <gasps> Saying that it is small and this and that. You no. know how much I laughed when I saw that? So I was thinking to myself, isn't that why you're flying here every time? <laughs> <laughs> I got the video footage on how I almost want to say she praises it every time and how she compliments it every time. I don't know where the small thing comes from now. <laughs> That's just why she child. Needs to be That's but child. According to me, the first few times, like, yeah. Well, every time she flies here, she's not flying here for the food. <laughs> Hell no. Let me tell you that. <laughs> she's not flying here for a hug. No. <laughs> so. But she's so bad about me like that. It, no, that's that's uncalled for. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Yikes. I hadn't heard that. I yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of this stuff I've distanced myself from, you know, just some of the raunchiness that comes out of out of this show is just too much sometimes, you know. It, it's it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. The stories that people make up, mm. they must have one hell of imagination or, or have no life at all to mm. be able to think about all the shit they think about. Mm. Damn. But let me tell you one thing. I do love some of the memes they make. They make me laugh. <laughs> me too. I love it. Same here. I love them of the recreators, I must say. Yeah, I, I don't like... Them, they must know. Applause. Yeah. I don't like to be called a blogger. Um, I like memes. I like to find humor and things and laugh. Love now, let me tell you, I used to win this, I believe after season started and then I found the memes and stuff. Goodness, I used to forward them to Tiffany and I used to say, this is a winner. This is when I love <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. 
Yeah. I just wish I could act more with the fans, but uh, you know, uh, my life here is, is quite busy for me to actually go and sit down and respond to each person. Right. Even with um, what's that one blogger, Johnny H, um, with the last time in August, September, whatever, when Tiffany gave him all that stuff that we spoke about and we spoke about it on his YouTube channel. You know what? Tiffany apologized long philosophical stories. She said she's mm. so sorry she'll never do it again. Da, 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 that was the last time. Talk to you later. Same thing. Wow. Now now recently a week three weeks ago. Again, you know. Um and that's why I say I'm fed up with your empty promises and stuff. Now Tiffany wants to promise me she'll move to South Africa. Now she wants to promise me I can be the head of the house. She can promise me she wants to make all these promises just to break me in the relationship, new relationship. Up. She sees now that she loves me. No more control, no more not planned. I'm heading on with my life. I mean, from the word go, I told Tiffany, your visa means nothing. I'm not here for a visa. I'm not here for a green card. I'm not here for nothing. To wave it in front of my face and think I'm a donkey that's walking after a carrot, mm-mm, that's where you slip up. So the fact that you didn't do the visa, it's it like that. The fact that you hesitated in the marriage, keep it like that. Don't, don't want to do all these things now when I walk away. Now it's too like I want you. I told you you didn't take me seriously. I mean that's it. So the promise is done nothing. You you disappoint me once, I'll forgive you. Disappoint me twice, I'll also forgive you because I did the same mistake in the past. Where I would do the same mistake more than once and I will ask forgiveness. So obviously she does one thing, does it again. I will forgive a second time, third time, possibly, but a fourth. Mm-hmm. Not a fourth time. But yeah. that is now where we have to draw a line. Yeah. I mean, the first time I was asking for forgiveness for something I did, I got sick to the curb. So, and that was five months ago. That was literally five months ago. We, we said we we're going to fix things. It didn't even last two weeks. That's when I said, enough, enough. I don't need to get so upset because I'm getting so upset here. Feels like I want to get a heart attack. I mean, I don't need to fight like that every day. I don't need to be accused every day. I don't need to be spoken down to every day. You know, it sucks so much negativity every day. She doesn't know how it feels alone in these four walls. She doesn't know the demons I fight in these four walls. She doesn't know how I fuck myself in these four walls. Doesn't know how lonely it gets here. Well, she's living her life in America. Don't, doesn't give a shit what I'm doing or how I'm doing. I asked her a question. Um, not long ago, I said, Tiffany, when was the last time you asked me how am I doing? It's all out. Good morning. I said, it just shows you how much interest you have in my life. To just ask, how am I doing? Whether I'm doing good or bad or whatever. You, you don't ask because you're not interested. But it's always about you. I must always focus on how you're feeling. I must always focus on what you want, what you need. When is it about me? It's always about you. Don't do it like that. Take two to tango. Come on. So. And now you made me cry a <laughs> little. <laughs> Why? Why did I say no? <laughs> the, the four walls part talking to me. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you, it's God. It's God. Um, <clears throat> and it can drive me insane when, when I can't even reach the kids. That, 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 then these walls are too small. Let me tell you that. Um, and you don't have your kids. She's got her kids, you know. The only thing I have that's related to my kids is, is old Charlie. 
the dog. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's only me and me. Every time in the fishes, fishes in the fish tank. Yeah, I think they're quite. I think they're quite lonely, but I'm not somebody who speaks about my emotions, and that's why, you know, I don't show emotion very much often. But um, yeah, it's quite a battle. I bet. That's why I see you tonight. The night tattoo that I'm going to get is he's coming out of a battle. He's coming mm. out of a storm. So all these things resemble what's going on. Yeah, tell us about your tattoo you're about to get. Well, I'm going to get a cover up um, off a sleeve mm. um, because now I have a cross on my right arm and uh, it's not very well done. It's one of those tattoos that I got when I was 16 years old. You know, we had a few drinks and a friend had a tattoo. <laughs> so, peace. Practice on me, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting a cover up to two, and it's it, it basically a warrior dressed in uh, full armor, basically armor, shield, sword, everything. And behind him, it's gonna it's gonna look like a storm, basically that he's walking out of. And but the knight will be resembling he's wearing the armor of God, which is written mm. in Ephesians. And um, it will resemble, obviously, also the, my addiction that I that Walk I'm out walking out of. Mm, nice. You know, I overcame. And then around it, I will have roses, one big rose, and then a few small ones representing, obviously, Carly. Um, her second name is Miss Rose, and a clock, a clock with the time that she was born. Uh -huh. and, yeah, and then I want to have. Uh, my favorite Bible verse must be on top, Philippians 4 13. And that's it. And what does that say? I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. Nice. Yeah, my word. No. And you're getting a Thursday? I, sorry? You Thursday, said you're yeah. getting a Thursday? No. Okay. All right. You're going to post it? You're going to post pictures of it? Uh, of course, I'm going to post it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna you are you gonna see me cry like a baby? I hate you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, Does it hurt? I don't have any tattoos. That's so From what I can remember, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you just. But they say it's because the person doesn't know what they are doing. They are going to do. Damn, no, it's the fact of a needle stinging me. Yeah, my oh my. Response. Do they do anything for pain? Do they put like a topical? cream or something that helps it not hurt so bad i don't know eh? all i know is i'm taking a bottle of alcohol with the pain by my side yeah. <laughs> take a stick and bite on it i don't know <laughs> oh goodness yeah. i'll figure it out but something has to happen but yeah it's something i wanted to do a long time and i've been saving actually now for it so, yeah well i'm excited yeah. to see it all right, let me oh. see what questions we have left. Um, what moments from the show do you feel like maybe they showed you unfairly? Sure, <laughs> plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going to say well, all of them? No. <laughs> from the first season, I mean, the scene where I'm fighting with me about my bank card. The way they played that scene out was insane because that those GoPros wasn't even supposed to be recorded. I was mad at the film crew, first of all. Second of all, because Tiffany didn't have my car, obviously. And um, I was driving like a maniac because I wanted to get to the bloody vape shop to get my vape juice. So, I mean, the fight wasn't originally from Tiffany having my card. I was pissed off with the camera crew because they were taking their time with where we filmed and I was rushing to get the place open. I asked them to go, can someone go get it? And nobody wanted to. So I said, okay, let's film finish so I can go quickly. I need to go get my juice. And they didn't care. So yeah, that's when I lost my shit. And Tiffany gave me a smile when I asked 
about the card. She gave me a smile like she thought it was a joke. And that's when I lost my shit. Obviously, things like that won't show. I mean, the happy ever after she's gone. You know, the after the counseling. They don't show the whole, the whole convo by the car. I mean, they, oh, didn't, yeah, show, you me they about didn't that. show what. Yeah, they didn't show what triggered me by the car. They didn't show why I said to Tiffany, or how many times I said to Tiffany, listen, let's go. Let's go home, get in the car. You know, she wanted to get shine. She stayed on camera. This and that. I got in the car. I was the nice, numerous times. If it was like nine or ten times, easily. But I asked her, let's get in the car. And eventually, you know, I, get, I got fed up because this woman is going on and on and gaslighting the situation. I mean, you just literally told me that you will take the kids away from me and I will see them when they are 18. So how do you expect me to take that life? Right. That's that when, I wanted. when she said that, you know, I realized what's going on. I realized the drama of that and I wanted to be. And just like the cameraman, sorry, <laughs> you know, just before we filmed that scene, I had a nice, calm chat with her. I explained to her, listen, you and this guy is very friendly with each other. I don't like that. You don't know him from a strain of it. You know, can you guys get along with this group as well? You're never going to see me in your life. Though. Did you did you come to visit me or did you come to hang out with Cameron? And um, I made her understand nicely why I said what I said, why I felt the way I felt. And she made it clear and stated that she will not do it again. It stops right there. She won't um, be so friendly to. Mm -hmm. Only to get that when I lost my shit and I walked into the hotel, here she is laughing with the camera. Mm -hmm. And the best of all is, only once the show aired, I saw that even the producer was lying to me. Because I asked, I want to know now what was said. And they didn't want to tell me. They said one sentence was said. And... Um, Tiffany said that she said, yeah, she will take, she feels like taking the bottle and jumping into the pool. If I knew she said, uh, what, this is insane, that's your boy, or something like that, huh. I would not have allowed it to come out. I will show her your boy. I will show her what's a boy. Because I came home and they, they called me and asked me, can she come home? I didn't lock her out or anything like that. Once someone can come up, the cameraman didn't want to come in, obviously. And I had the balls. I walked out to the van outside. And I walked to him and I told him straight up, but you know what? I'm not mad at you. It's not your fault. Um, no, I see you. You know, and I shook his hand because I said, you know what? If there's anyone to blame, it's Tiffany because I spoke to you about it. And Things like that won't be shown, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even when when I gave Tiffany a bag and I threw her bag here, the reason why I threw her bag there, when I went to go fix them in the room and I threw them there and I said, there's your bag, go. The only reason why I did that is because she told me, um, so what did she say? She said, something and fuck this and fuck you, I will peace out of you. And then I went to go pick your back and I said, there's your back, go peace out of you. They edited the shit out of that, that was believe it, where the real story wasn't shown. I mean, my bachelor's even. Do you think there would have been a strip on my bachelor's? No. Coming out of a wellness center just two days ago, I wanted to have a bra. But no, obviously, there was a range for stripper after Tiffany and I made it clear that there mustn't be anything like that. that, that that's showing me in the wrong light. Right. Yeah. And to be clear about the, I'm going to keep the kids here. Mm -hmm. Yes. There was a scene on that live after where I said, I'm going to yes. keep the kids here. Everyone's like, He's going to kidnap the kid. No. 
If you come to me, I supply with kids. I have to make a paper, cost me 1,600 grand. And that paper, I give her permission to fly with my daughter. Without that paper, she cannot fly. Right, because the international kidnap precautions. Yes. So if the date on that paper is not right, or if they don't correspond with a ticket, then she's going to be able to come in, but she's not going to be able to go out. And because me and Tiffany was fighting already before she came, the paper that I gave her, the date that I put for return was wrong on purpose. It was like two weeks after she landed. She was, I put the date for that and she didn't even notice that. But that's why I said, I will keep the kids there. And there's nothing she's going to be able to do about it because if she was to go to the airplane, I fixed it later on, but if she was, if I didn't fix it and she would have gone to the airport, they'll say, okay, now you can go but the child state. U.S. citizen or not, Carly has dual citizen. Mm -hmm. But Carly is just as valid South African as she is U.S. Mm -hmm. And I will... And if that happens, Tiffany won't have a foot to stand up. Why? Because on her passport, it says curly. C-U-R-L-E-Y. On a birth certificate, it says Carly. Right. On my paper, it says Carly. So technically, that passport doesn't mean that's Carly. Mm. How's she been able to fly with it? Sorry, say again. How's she been able to fly with it? With an incorrect passport? That, well, I have to obviously now from my side, I have to fill in clearly on my paper. Mm. But I mean, the push comes to shove and we correspond documents at the airport, they're going to see, but Carly is not, not clearly. It's, not, it's the same photo, but it's not the same name or whatever. So, yeah, if, if need be, I'll have a foot to stand on should I want to fight or be ugly like that. But I didn't at the end of the day. I just, I just gave in because Tiffany made me promises that she's going to be in July. Mm. It didn't what happen. a fool I was. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's things like that that you have to swallow the pull, you know? You have to get over it because you can't turn back on. Right. Well, there's only so small ones. Daniel is only so young ones. I mean, yeah. Yeah. This is what it is. So what, what do you want viewers to know about you that you feel didn't come across on the show? I'm not as bad as the show makes me. Mm. I'm a very loving, caring, supportive man that will do anything I must do to take care of my family or be there for my wife, for my kids. I'm a working man. Note that I'm a working man. I don't just sit at home and you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't sit and wait for green grass and let me play the ball. No. Um, I'm not as bad as the show makes me seem like. Basically, if I can say that, you know, I'm 